In this video, we're going to look at the formula of alkenes, and we're going to start by looking at the general formula of alkenes, then the molecular formula, then the displayed formula, and then finally how to work out the structural formula of alkene. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the general formula of an alkene. Now, the general formula of an alkene is CnH2n. All this means is the Cn part just refers to the number of carbon atoms, okay? And then the H2n just tells us that to work that out, it's the number of carbon atoms multiplied by two. So pretty straightforward, really. So let's have a look at some examples. So if I've got two carbon atoms, all I would do here is two multiplied by two equals four. So this tells me that the formula of this alkene would be C2H4. Again, if I had an alkene with three carbon atoms or propene, all I would need to do is take the three, multiply by two, which gives me six, which then tells me that the formula would be C3H6. Okay, if we try one last example here, um, and we say I've got C7, this would mean, again, that seven multiplied by two equals 14. So the number of hydrogen atoms would be 14. Each of these that we've just worked out here, C2H4, C3H6, and C7H14, these are all examples of molecular formula. And the molecular formula just so shows the number of total number of carbon atoms and the total number of hydrogen atoms, always written in the order of carbons and then hydrogens. So molecular formula is just the total number of carbons and the total number of hydrogen atoms for an alkene. Okay. That brings us on then to displayed formula. And here I've got the displayed formula of a molecule called ethene. Now the displayed formula is really a diagram that shows the arrangement of all of the carbon and hydrogen atoms. And more importantly, it shows all of the bonds. So the formula, displayed formula of ethene here is two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. Now, importantly, we can tell that this is an alkene because of the double bond between two carbon atoms. Now, the way that I would start drawing this is I'm going to show you how I would draw this one anyway. So quite often we're starting with the molecular formula, which would be C2H4. And that tells me because the number of hydrogens is double the amount of carbons that it's an alkene. And then I need to remember that an alkene has a double bond. So here, I would put start off by drawing my two carbon atoms. And then because I know it's an alkene, I'm going to straight away join those together with a double covalent bond. Then I know that if we notice that every carbon atom has four covalent bonds, so if we count them up on the example at the top, so one, sorry, one, two, and then three and four. Okay, so each bond in the double bond counts as one bond. And then the second carbon should have four bonds as well. So one, two, and again, three and four. Even though the carbon atoms share those bonds, we still count them as individual for each carbon atom. Okay, so using that then, I know that I've already got two on my example down here. I've got two carbon atoms, sorry, and then two bonds for the carbon atom on the left. So I'm going to finish the one on the left, and because it can make four, there's room for two more bonds. And then the one on the right already has its two bonds in the middle. And so I need to finish that off by giving it two more bonds. Each of these bonds goes to a hydrogen. Now remember the symbol for hydrogen is a capital H, not a lowercase h. Um, 
So please do make sure you get that right. And please make sure that you include the hydrogen atoms and don't forget to put them on. So that's ethene. Now, if we took something a little bit more difficult, like propene. Propene has the molecular formula C3H6. Again, I'm going to start off by putting my carbon atoms in a row. I know because it's an alkene that there has to be a double bond between the carbon atoms somewhere. Now, there only has to be one double bond to make it an alkene. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that double bond in straight away between the first two carbons from left to right. If I then look at my carbon on the left, I know it's already got two, carb two um, bonds, so I'm going to put two more in. Then, between the other two carbon atoms that are left on the right hand side, there needs to be the single bond. Now I need to be very careful here about how many bonds I put on to this middle carbon atom. Because remember, it already has one, two, three. And because every carbon atom can only make four bonds, it can only make one more bond. So I'm going to put that there. It wouldn't matter if it goes at the top or the bottom as long as there's only one. And then this carbon atom here on the right hand side has only got one bond there. So I can put three more on to that. Again, each of these bonds has to go to a hydrogen atom and I can check that I've got the right amount and the right amount of bonds because if I look back at the molecular formula of C3H6, I should have C3 and then three, three hydrogen atoms, four hydrogen, five and six. So I've drawn it correctly. We'll try another example. And this time we will try um, butene. Now butene is C is C4. And because it's now keen, I know to get the number of hydrogen atoms, I just have to times that by two. So the molecular formula is C4H8. Again, begin by just putting your carbon atoms in a row. Now join up the carbon atoms with the right bonds. So the first bond I'm going to put in will be the double bond because once I've put it in, I don't have to think about it anymore. And then the rest will be single bonds. And then I've got to be careful about the number of bonds that are on each carbon. So this carbon here has already got one, two. So I can put two more bonds in. And then the next one's always the tricky one. So this carbon atom already has one, two, three. So I can only put one more bond in. Remember, it doesn't matter if it goes at the top or the bottom. I'm going to put it on the bottom this time. Next carbon atom already has one and two. So this time I can put a bond above and below. And then the final carbon atom has one bond. And so I can put three more in. Each of those bonds goes to a hydrogen atom. Remember, capital H for hydrogen. And then once I've finished, I can check that I've got everything right by just checking my diagram against the molecular formula. So I've got four carbon atoms, so one, two, three, four, so that's correct. And then I should have eight hydrogens, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've drawn that correctly. Okay, so that's the displayed formula. The displayed formula shows the arrangement of all of the atoms and importantly, all of the bonds between those atoms. And then the last type of formula we're going to look at for an alkene is the structural formula. Now this shows how the carbon and hydrogen atoms are arranged, but without drawing out the displayed formula. So the example I've got here is ethene C2H4. So that's the molecular formula. And then this is the structural formula. So to show you where I've got this from, I'm going to use the molecular formula here to draw the displayed formula, which we've just done. So carbons next to each other. We know it's an alkene, so we need a double bond. And then remember, every carbon atom can form four bonds. So this carbon on the left has one, two, three, four. And then the carbon on the right can have two more. So it's now got one, two, three, four. Each of those bonds needs to now go to a hydrogen atom. Now, to work out the 
structural formula. I'm just going to start on the left-hand side with this carbon and look at how many hydrogens are attached and then follow it up with the right-hand side and do the same. So I can show you where this comes from. So if I take the first carbon atom, this is one carbon and two hydrogen atoms. So I'll write that as CH2. And then on the left-hand side, I've got the same again. So I've got one carbon and two hydrogens. So that becomes CH2, which matches up then with this formula up here, which I wrote earlier. So if we try a slightly more difficult example. So we'll take, again, propene, which is C3H6. So to work out the structural formula of this, I'm gonna draw the displayed formula. So I need three carbon atoms. Remember that it's an alkene, so I need a double bond in there, only one double bond. And then the next one is a single bond between the carbons. Every carbon atom has to have four bonds. So the first carbon atom already has two. So that means that I can put two more. The second carbon atom, this is the tricky one, has one, two, three. Just make sure you check that as you're drawing it and get it right. So I can put one more bond in. And then the last carbon atom only has one bond drawn already. So it can have three more. Each of these needs to go to a hydrogen. Sorry, I nearly made the mistake that I told you not to do then. And then the last set there. So just as I did before, I'm going to divide this up into the first carbon. So this is CH2. Then the second, which is slightly different. This has only got one hydrogen. So I'll put CH, no number, because the H by itself just means one. And then the final one is three hydrogens and one carbon atom. So that then becomes CH3. So the structural formula of propene is CH2, CH, CH3. We'll do one final example and we'll look at pentene. So that's C5. And again, multiply that by two, so C5H10. I'm gonna start by drawing out my carbons. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put my double bond in, and I like to put it in between the first two carbon atoms, just to make sure I remember to put it in. The fact is that actually this double bond could be between any of the carbon atoms, but if you put it between the first two, as you start, it's, you've got more chance of remembering to put it in and, and making sure that you've got the right number of bonds on everything else. So next ones just need to be single bonds between the carbon atoms. And again, remember, I need to make sure that I've got the right number of bonds. So the first carbon atom here already has two. So I can put two more bonds on. And then the second carbon here has one, two, three bonds. So it can only have one extra bond on there. Then this carbon here, the third carbon already has one, two. So I can put two more bonds onto this one. And then the next one, the fourth one along. Oops, sorry, I rubbed that one out by mistake. Let's just put that one back in and the bond. So we just said that it already has two bonds, so I can put two more onto that. And then the final carbon atom there only has one, so then I can put, I don't know why I've just rubbed that out again. I can put three more bonds. Making sure that each of those bonds go to a hydrogen atom, capital H, remember, and make sure that you do put the hydrogens in. Okay, so I've got that there. Again, I can I can just quickly check this just to make sure if I've got five carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, five, and then 10 hydrogens, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that all works out. And then I can start to divide this up to work out the structural formula. So first one, divide that up. Okay, and we're gonna have CH2. Then it will be CH. And then I'm not entirely sure why this keeps erasing things, but sorry. So then I've got CH2 again. Next carbon along, CH2. And then that final fifth carbon is going to be CH3. So the structural formula of pentene is CH2, CH, CH2, CH2, CH3. So just to summarize, that the general formula of alkenes is CNH2N. Okay, so if we know the number of carbon atoms, we just double it to find out the number of hydrogen atoms. The molecular formula just shows the total number of carbon and hydrogen atoms in the molecule. Again, beginning with carbon first and then hydrogen. The displayed formula is that diagram showing how all the carbon and hydrogen atoms are arranged with all of the bonds. And then this is an example here of propene. And then the structural formula shows us the arrangement of the carbon and hydrogen atoms, but without having to draw all the individual bonds. So this example here, CH2, CH, CH3, is propene. And that's the one that's shown in this diagram. So again, we can see that here, CH2, CH, CH3.